paper lovers, it's Sarah. Thanks for stopping by today. We're going to be making a card using the Simply Charmed cartridge. And um, we're going to be using the strawberries, the bowl of strawberries here on page 47. And the only thing I did is I decided I was wanted to use pattern paper for the bowl, so I didn't cut the little face out. And normally I would just use my gypsy and hide those um, the eyes and the mouth in my gypsy with the hide contour feature. But my gypsy is on its way to Provo Craft right now because she broke. So she's being replaced. I know. Moment of silence. Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> um, so hopefully, they said it would take a while because they're on back order. So today is a very simple card because seriously, like, I could not remember how to make a card without my gypsy. So anyway, so because I couldn't hide the mouth and the eyes, I chose to use this layer right here as my top layer for my bowl so that I wouldn't, so it would just be, you know, without a face. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to be making a regular A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, and this is just some craft cardstock. And I went around the edge with uh, white stitching ahead of time. And my pattern cardstock is from DCWV. It's from the farmer's market. Is it farmer's market? Yeah, farmer's market. It's an older stack that I really liked and I don't use very much. But I thought it would just be really perfect with this, um, the berries, the strawberries. Okay, so there's our bottom mat. And then this little piece of uh, matching cardstock is about one inch by uh, the five and a quarter. And we're just going to stick this down at the bottom. Ah. So that's going to go down here. And then I just have this tiny little strip that I made here, right here. I'll just use my zig for that. So this is a super simple card. And I um, don't know what I'm going to do without my gypsy. can't make my scene cards for a while. But, oh well, it'll challenge me to do things a little different. Okay. Now I have my little sentiment, which is a sweet hello. And I'm just going to use some of the Stays on Timber Brown. And this sentiment is from the Scrappy Mom Stamp Sweet Somethings. And we're just going to stamp this down here at the bottom. Sweet hello. Now here's our little bowl of strawberries, and oops, sorry, this is also from that farmer's market. And I just took my white gel pen and went around the strawberries. And if you notice right here, I made a mistake. <laughs> so hopefully the person that I send this to will not notice that mistake. But I'm sure she will but now that I pointed it out. And I'm going to pop this up on some foam squares. This Simply Charmed cartridge is so stinking cute, and I can't wait to really play with it. I kind of did this one a little different, but... Okay, so there's our little bowl of strawberries. And then I have some buttons that I'm going to add, and I added some braiding cord to them. I'm going to put one on the bowl, and then a couple some other places. So let me grab my glue dots and just stick these down. Oh my goodness. Go like right there in the middle of the bowl. In the middle. Okay. And then I have, let's see, my glue dots are really old and they don't come off as easily as they're supposed to. Okay, so this one's going to go like right there. And this one. And these I just crisscross some of that braiding cord through them. It's going to go over there, and one more, and I just have this little red button and I did a little bow on that one. 
that one's going to go down here by our sentiment. And that's it. Super simple, super easy. Thanks everybody for watching and have a blessed day.